If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Bring my spirits up. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. Okay, Wilbur May something museum. Wilbur D. May. Wilbur D. May. It's over there. 26 gardens. This is how you water your lawn and everything during the daytime. So it evaporates very quickly and you waste water. Just saying. Probably really refreshing to walk in. <laughs> Do you want to? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Do you want to hold the situation? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. All right. You convinced me. Yeah, good. see? It's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's not as misty as I thought. It's more of a <laughs> to cheese. Um, drenchy. <laughs> I understand. They're going to be just like little clusters within a... Yeah. 26 garden, that's a lot. With the labyrinth, I definitely want to do it. I love those. This just talks about you know, how he was a... Basically a rich dude. Rich dude. Yeah, I wasn't taping it. The guy said he was born to money through the May, like the May family, which was kind of like the Levi family. He wasn't the oldest son, so that gave him time to travel and play. Yeah, he didn't have to do nothing. He just, he got all the benefits of being, his family being rich. Yeah. And, and then before ex- the stock market crashed, he had, he had cashed out. The bonds. Cashed his bonds out. So when the stock market crashed and then started to come back, he just bought his stuff. Bought a bunch of stuff Africa up too. and then became independently wealthy. Yeah, I was just getting something off. Oops, sorry. Botanical Garden, welcome. There's the the same map we just saw. It's a fresh paint. I thought it was paint. I think they're taping off around the lights and stuff. Mm -hmm. A couple days they're going to have under the trees, I bet that's me. We're already just having tons of stuff growing everywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, the purple. Beautiful. All right, native collection. You like native. Wow. David's that. Grove, native area, rock garden. Dixie's Plaza Garden, Burke Garden, Xyler's Escape Area. This is covered in bees. Love bees. Covered in bees. Look 
because you want to be my friend. They definitely like purple. That's a good attractive. Wow, they're everywhere. Oh, my God. I know that the pictures nor the video are doing it justice. Look at the purple. Oh, gosh. Fork in the road already? What? Uh-huh. Yes. We do David, but we do this way. Big junipers. That's what that Utah juniper. Which is a juniper. As is this one. Just different. It ain't from Utah. Sage brush. White fur, which we already admired. And the pine cones are just little green buds on this guy. Oh yeah, white fur. White fur. What fur? What fur? Lots of sage brush now. Lamb's ears, lovely. This is some kind of oak. Oh. Okay, so they're the ones that kind of are skinny. Did you show that ponderosa? There's another one. All those tall ones are ponderosas right there. Ponderosa. David's Grove in memory of David uh, and David has a last name that you can go ahead and pronounce 1964 to 1984 that is quite a last name that's quite a last name <laughs> we don't like when people mispronounce so we'll just not <laughs> butcher their names some names are just hard to pronounce they are I was just wondering what a service fairy the Rose family is. You hear those honkers? <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> nice girl we got there, David. Nice grove, David. Nice grove. Ooh, these berries. I think we saw them somewhere else and I was tripping on them last time. Oh, yeah. They're pretty big. They're quite. Quite. Douglas fur. One of Doug's old nicknames. <laughs> Look right at the sun. Sorry about the figure. Ooh, Rubber rabbit brush. <clears throat> wow. It's in the aster family. Interesting. And I cut a lot of Katoni aster, but I never knew that's what that stuff was called. It's not very common in my properties. But apparently somebody buys it and plants it, so I shouldn't tear it out. Nah. <laughs> And this is a um, pinion pine, so you can tell it's a little different, but the green's a little that, different. Than I hear it's a pinion pine. Next to the ponderosa, you can even see since they're next to each other. You know, when you're driving past the roadside in the forest, they all look like, there's a bunch of trees, but there's all different kinds of trees. More juniper. Whoa, that's an interesting juniper. Oh, juniper is always kind of like ugly. It seems to hold a lot of dust, which is probably good because it Cobwebs. keeps it out of the air. A lot of spiders. Ugh, another aster family member. Look 
This is like, this looks like mint. Oh, it looks like a spider web actually. Red berries. Look at these little red berries. I don't think they're rose hips this time. No. <laughs> like the other day when I thought they were. What are these? Oh, those little. Might be like a pyrocantha. And these little. They're like almost like tissue paper. They're so messy when they all fall off. Oh, yeah. These are what we're speaking of on these trees. Old blooms or old leaves of some sort. Old blooms, I would say. And for a tree, my favorite thing about them is the white bark. Going to seed. Yeah, those are so messy. Isn't that one there? It's kind of skinny, but... Yeah. Tree? Yep. All right, so we're going to... Oh, let's walk down this way. Desert Peach. Now that was out on our other walk. Desert Peach. Northern Desert Shrub Zone. Okay. Okay. Got some cacti. More Astro family, juniper, cacti. And once again, we have the whole place for ourselves. Mm. Other than the workers around. Oh, there's a golf course. We'll do their <clears throat> nice neighborhood where we're at. Fancy houses around. Is that part of the park? Mahogany. Oh. Curl leaf. There. The leaves aren't on it. They've already fallen. Mahogany, huh? Interesting. Mahogany wood is like expensive. Though. Very dense wood. Mahogany burns mm. really hot. I smell the pines right here. It's got a couple leaves left on it. A little bit of greenage. When they say natural, they're not kidding. They're just kidding. <sighs> Shrub zone. Little leaf mountain mahogany. That's a pretty little red, whatever that is. Mm. This thing looks like it's about to get really messy. Look at all those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're floating all in the sky in no time. Apache plume. Apache. It's in the rose family. Patchy's so native. Oh, look at it. See the little flower? And then the, I didn't notice those little cute little flowers. Cute little flowers. Fern bush. What is it? Fern bush. It's in the rose family, apparently. I don't think that, so. That can't be that, it. That That's be not it. it. This is yeah, a dwarf that. mungo pine. Wow. This might be fern bush. There's other little nooks, but that's what I think it's pretty much the same. Like I said, the reason. It's a stone crop. Hope I hear people. I'm going to pull up with you guys. I want to see this red. Let's check it out. Bob, 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 bob. Beautiful. Hey, your squirrel friends are up here. No. Beautiful. 
Lodge pole pine. Limber pine. Oh yeah, the pole pines. Those were all. Oh, that's doesn't look anything like the pole pine we saw in Denver. I mean, no, nothing like. Alrighty then. That's the natural area. We didn't go through it, but it just it was more the same in little nooks. Oh, I love these. These are around us too, right? Yeah. I forget. That sign's not for it. It's the missing yeah. sign because the other one says instant cedar. Ooh, those berries are. They look like something you want to eat, but they're probably not edible. <laughs> Pretty cool, the, the arches. It's fuchsia. California fuchsia. fuchsia. Oh, yeah. Natural one, huh? And look at, if you stand here, you see, the, ooh. I, I think those are some other fuchsia too, but this beautiful arch with the oh, lining. Man. And then this arch has a jasmine or what? What is that kind of it's like? I don't know. Some kind of, yeah. Beautiful. That might have been Jasmine or. It's a leaner, but we're going to go through. <laughs> Here we uh, go. Oh, that's. Wisteria Arbor. Wisteria, yes. It's a Wisteria. Wow, look at that. Wow. Oh, it's got a split to it. They should kind of close that up a little bit or chop it off. This piece is probably dead. Those look like the berries that the birds get drunk off of. Yeah, pyrocantha. Pyrocantha are the ones that go straight up tall with the little red berries. And Katoni aster uh, lays flat across the ground with the red berries. Roses. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. Look at all these roses. Oh, beautiful. Strike it rich. I'll let you know if there's any fragrance. Um, I'd say that yellow one up there on top would be fragrant. Can I get your arm to step up? But I don't want to be. I don't want to be a movie star. Oh, there's a bee in front of you. Okay. Hi, bee. Does smell yes, but not as not the biggest smell I've ever smelled. The whites are kind of tough. They don't really hard to find a good smelling one. Orange. This pink, one, this pink one's a winner right here. It's about to fall off of its uh, <laughs> petals are already done. Orange is yum. That one's pretty good. That's like the one that smells like grandma. Definitely want a picture. Mm, definitely my favorite plant. A lot of my favorite people are named Rose. Some of my most favorite people. Okay, well, let's keep, let's do this whole side and come back that side. Side to side to side to side. How did these ones? That doesn't smell that one at all. That little pink one. Love it. Rose is like the hot, you can tell we're just in that beating sun. Oh, yeah, I like it. Ooh, these are like almost clear. You already taped those berries. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty. <gasps> Pyrocantha? Can we look over here? Like we said, there's 26. <laughs> we're not... Oh, there's a waterfall. We're not going to be able to look at them all, guys. We're gonna see as much as we can see. Oh, okay, see? These are the shade lovers now. The mm -hmm. other extreme from the... See, people can these actually are... get gardening advice from this. Yeah. <clears throat> so I tell people, they're always asking me, what should I plant, Bobby, what should I plant? I said, you know, this is your neighborhood, your home. 
you copy your neighbors. You drive around your neighbors, see which way their house is facing, what is working for them, because they've gone through the tri mistrials <laughs> and all the problems of planting things. You gotta remember the south facing is the most sun and plant accordingly around your house. Very smart advice. Nowadays, everybody's liking drought tolerant, but still color, so a lot of lantanas and... Yeah, where we live. Yeah. I haven't really seen that here. Salvia lucanthas and stuff. It's so nice and cool here, just standing by a fountain with water. Yep. It's like 15 degrees cooler by it than the rose bush area was. Lilies love it. Those are really pretty. There's a little sign over here. Let's see what we have. Red oak, the mighty red oak. Wow, interesting. Yeah, really, especially having it here next to a source of water. So it's sparse. Like sparse. Well, it probably lost some. Falls are coming. Oh, it's just teeny and delicate, like these little tiny purple, like mm -hmm. bell things almost, little bell things. Look at I'm glad we didn't miss that little niche, like the waterfall, water feature. I know, right? What do we have here? In love and memory, Christian, Kristen Lynn Wolf, 1969 to 1990. Oh, Wolf. Wolf? W-O-L-F-F. -F. Okay, Russia and Wolf have been throughout the <laughs> street. So much Wolf stuff. That's interesting. As you hang out with us, you'll see we get in these weird little, I don't know what you call them. These clusters of things that will like stick with us for a duration. It's kind of cool actually. Bamboo. Yeah. Fastest, fastest growing grass in the world. Yes, I said grass. I said grass. It's a grass. <gasps> All right, short people, beware. It's like a cherry tree or a flowering plum, probably cherry. Flowers there too? Yeah. Okay. Oh, another water. Very peaceful here. What are microclimates? Can't read that. It's all. Yeah. Weather. Stop and get glasses. Try to educate. <laughs> get microscope. <laughs> find out. <laughs> Kind of cool. One of them's not operational. These Whoa. are, somebody forgot their chickens behind and. Okay, that's Blair, very Blair Witch like. Very Blair Witchy. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Okie dokie. All right, let's cruise through. Let's cruise on through. Nice little botanical area. It's very moist. It's quite moist. Whatever that says. Oh, put it in the comments. We were in the songbird garden, apparently. And now we'll oh. head to the, whatever this word is. Xeriscape area? That's what I was wondering. That's a new word for me. I'm not going to... Slaughter it? 
You don't feel like slaughtering it? Well, I tried to say it, but I'm not going to feel silly. I don't know it. Uh oh. I've never seen that bird. I'm going to look at this. You know, I think I'm off the That's what that noise was. You know, there's still time for them to fix. So this is how we wind back, because this is going out. So mm -hmm. that's the, going back towards the main museum again. Baby, come back. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed.